Good morning, everyone. Um, on this most holy Tuesday, um, and Daniel, Daniel is going to, um, he's going to be praying with us this morning from Japan. So, um, some great facts about Japan. Um, the official language is Japanese. The patron um, saint is Saint Francis of Xavier. 0.5 percent of the total population is Catholic. There are 16 dioceses in Japan, um, and Christian Christianity was introduced Japan to Japan by the Jesuits, um, one of them being uh, St. Francis of Xavier. At one point, Nagasaki was known as the Rome of Japan. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, and among, oh, yes, um, um, however, the peak of Christian history in Nagasaki is perhaps the crucifixion of 26 Christians in 1596. And um, I think Daniel's already here, so we're so happy to have him. Fantastic fact about him is he's going to be received into the church and he's going to be participating in the Easter ritual on Saturday. So, so many prayers for him. His story is remarkable. We also want to pray for Father Taylor um, Reynolds, who lost his father, and uh, just praying for the repose of his soul. Hi, Daniel. Good morning. Hopefully can the Wi-Fi is okay. Yes, I can hear you. How is the okay. signal coming in? It's a little delayed, but I think it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Okay, perfect. I was gonna go ahead and, and share our intentions for this morning um, for Melissa, who's struggling right now with a newborn, um, a child with mm -hmm. special needs and her mom who has Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. So we just wanna pray for her um, and that the grace um, of God to just carry her through and strengthen her. Um, from Sandy, uh, for my students and most especially one whose father is diagnosed with brain cancer, um, just so hard to be far from the ones they love, especially when the family is in crisis. So we want to pray for that family as well. And then um, from Susie, we want to pray for Grace Ware. She's 15 years old and was recently in an ATV accident. She's in critical mm -hmm. condition. So prayers of healing for them and for their family. Um, and we want to pray for you and everyone here. Mm -hmm. Is there anything specific, Daniel, you'd like to pray for? Um, well, getting baptized this vigil the Easter vigil so that my road ahead obviously I don't expect it to be easy but that it would be fruitful and that it would be a blessing to others and that it doesn't stop here that it continues to other people as well amen that's so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll go ahead and get started amen. let's do it in the name of the father and the son and the holy, holy spirit, spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this daily bread. We forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, we pray. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. As his closest friend slept, Jesus endured alone the extreme agony, fear, and distress of this night of sorrow. Desiring to be spared such great, su great suffering, Jesus prayed, Father, all things are possible with you. Take this cup away from me, but not what I will, but what you will. Jesus poured out his anguished heart, begging for the strength to endure the passion and finish the cup. He placed his full trust and confidence in his heavenly Father, as he had done throughout his whole life, and in his Father's embrace, he found the strength to go on to the end. Each of us bears affliction in our own lives, and we know many who suffer greatly, be it physically, emotionally, or spiritually. When we are betrayed, abandoned, taken for granted, or suffer illness, depression, or discouragement, let us turn to Jesus for consolation and strength. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Amen. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. After being betrayed, falsely accused, and wrongfully imprisoned, Jesus was brought before Pilate for sentencing. His first punishment was a merciless scourging from the Roman soldiers. In his scourging, Jesus was thinking of you. He offered all his suffering to his Father to save us from a punishment we could not bear. Fulfilling the words of the prophet Isaiah, Upon him was the chastisement that makes us whole. By his stripes we are healed. Jesus... <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven. heaven especially those most need of thy mercy. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. The Roman soldiers gathered an audience of 600 companions, stripped Jesus of his blood-soaked clothing, and threw a scarlet military cloak over his shoulders. Then they wove a crown of spiked thorns and pressed it down on his head, striking him and saying, All hail, King of the Jews. Jesus courageously and silently endured this piercing public humiliation choosing to love and forgive. Humiliation is difficult to endure, especially when we are in the right. Jesus lived what he taught about the last being first. When we were treated unfairly, we need to discern the prudent response. Sometimes we need to set our boundaries and stand for what is right. Other times we need to turn the other cheek and suffer in silence. In all times, we need to follow the counsel of St. Peter. Cast all your worries upon him because he cares for you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us, us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. In total surrender to his Father's will, Jesus freely accepted the cross and bore it himself through Jerusalem's narrow and strident streets. Panic attacked him as he struggled to find his footing and fell amidst the shouting and jostling crowd. In their faces, he saw hate, rage, and disgust. Saddened but resolute, Jesus kept going toward his final end. Sometimes it seems our cross is unbearable and we panic, thinking we will never be able to complete the course. This mystery teaches us that God will never allow us to be tested beyond our ability to endure. He will always make a way. As Jesus fell under the agonizing weight of the cross, his father sent St. Simon the Syrian to help him carry it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. And so it ended. After a brief life of 33 years, Jesus was betrayed, arrested, tried, convicted, imprisoned, condemned, scourged, crowned with thorns, forced to carry his cross, stripped, nailed, and hung to die, all within 24 hours. The good shepherd went to this extent to rescue his lost sheep, to reopen the gates of heaven, and give to us all a second chance at paradise. Jesus thirsts for us to be with him, reunited with his Father in the kingdom for all eternity. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but will have eternal life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Pace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. 
Turn then, most gracious Advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, by your only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the snares and the wickedness of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Sorry, I may, I may have messed up the St. Michael prayer. <laughs> I, think I, was, I was switching to let. Anyways, um, so no Daniel, worries. that was the first time you praying the rosary like with someone else. First time ever in my life, yes. That was amazing. I didn't want to tell everybody because I was like, didn't want to make you nervous, but I am so impressed. Uh, thank you. I was actually like sweating bullets as <laughs> it was happening. <laughs> well, but I mean, it was awesome. That was pretty brave of you to do it in front of, you know, people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All glory to God and thank goodness that our blessed mother is with us as we pray. Amen. So, amen. 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 So you have the most interesting story. I've, mm -hmm. I'm just, told, it's so remarkable. If you kind of care to share, you know, your journey and how um, that led you to being um, to this weekend, you know, this. Yeah, this, yeah that would be wonderful. Absolutely. So uh, basically the idea behind me, if you want to kind of summarize it a little bit, is I come from Jewish heritage, uh, but my family that lived in Central America. So they moved in from Spain and from the Iberian Peninsula, Northern Africa. They ended up in Central America, lost the faith, knew about God, kind of believed in God, didn't practice anything. Um, then my parents moved to New York and they become Protestant Christians, uh, Pentecostal out of all things. Ooh. So yeah, very not so Catholic. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I was raised in that way for a while. And then in my college years, that's when I kind of had a little bit of a self-crisis trying to figure out uh, why I believe what I believed. So I started basically looking into all the religions that I knew, Shinto, Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, and all, all of that. After doing my research to summarize all of that, I ended up knowing, okay, I believe in God, this and that. Now let me compare it to how I live. And I noticed the first thing that was off comparing what I saw in the scripture and what I was living was the whole notion uh, of what we know as sola fide or faith alone, which basically tells us that we live by faith alone and works are not necessary. But I saw in the scriptures over and over that it says, obey my commandments. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. So I'm like, wait a minute, there's something off. So that was the first thing. Uh, that actually led me into Messianic Judaism because of the fact that I'm like, okay, I'm Jewish. I believe in Jesus, but I, I'm not going to reject them just because I'm Jewish. So I started looking into that into a way that I can embrace Jesus, Yeshua, embrace keeping the commandments of God as I understood it to mean in that, at that point. Um, and that was Messianic Judaism. The next pillar to go down is when I was starting to question, okay, so now I know that I'm supposed to be keeping the commandments, but what commandments? Because the temple is not there. So who says that I shouldn't do that? What about the sacrifices? What about all the legal requirements? What about the commandments that have to do with the land? N no idea. So naturally that led me to the rabbis because the rabbis created their own avenue as it were for lack of a temple sacrificial system and the priesthood so then i started asking okay so what gives these guys the authority why do they have the right to interpret 
So I said, okay, let me see what the earliest believers believed and what they have practiced. Enter the church fathers and the apostolic fathers. And it scared me because it looked Catholic. And I'm like, there's no way this can't be, I must debunk the Catholic church. Can't be. So I basically went on this deep search going into things like the Didache, again, more apostolic fathers. And lo and behold, to make all of that journey short also, uh, it led me to being convicted of the truth of the Catholic Church. And then, of course, that took me a year and change to kind of battle all the arguments, you know, the ones that everybody has, like the papacy, what do you do about Mary? Because Catholics worship Mary, right? Uh, I didn't know any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it, it was a struggle. Uh, but then that led me to where I am now. And actually it's interesting doing this here and praying the rosary because it was a couple of special incidents that kind of led me to embrace the rosary even before embracing Catholicism. Um, really? Yeah. So <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, basically one time, this is one of the experiences. I was in the train home, which is about an hour and a half commute from work to my home. So I'm in the train. I start feeling super nauseous. I'm feeling cold. I feel like I'm going to pass out. I close my eyes. I'm hugging my backpack in the seat of the train. And I'm like, God, I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good. All of a sudden, I hear a voice. Rather, I, I felt a voice, which is the weird thing about it. Mm -hmm. And it said, and I knew it to be the Blessed Mother, Miriam, Mary. Mm -hmm. And I heard her say, if you would only take this little rosary, and then all of a sudden, I see a little rosary in my mind's eye, right? I have my eyes closed and I see that rosary and I grab it. And I kid you not, instantly, I felt better. And I, I waited. I didn't act on it because in my mind, I'm like, this is placebo. <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm just imagining things. So I waited until I got home, not home, when I, the train stopped and I called my wife immediately and I'm like, baby, uh, this just happened to me. I was sick and I got healed out of nowhere. We both couldn't believe it. Uh, of course, that was not the only experience, but that led me into falling in love with praying the rosary, understanding more of it every day. And it's been an amazing journey. And of course, as you could tell, I'm, I'm still learning, uh, especially when it comes to praying with somebody else. But I, I pray that I continue to have more of these type of experiences. Oh, you will, for sure. Uh, I mean, the one thing um, I think you probably have uncovered more than a lot of us, um, the depths of the Catholic faith, um, there's always more to learn. It never ends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so deep. I love that. Yeah, yeah. It, was there someone to walk alongside you through all of this? Like, mm. was your wife like, what's going on? Or <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I she... She's kind of supportive about everything. Uh, sorry, go ahead. I'll let you finish. No, what, what did you say about your wife? She... She's, she's always been kind of supportive, even walking through Judaism, Messianic Judaism, and then into Judaism. Um, she was supportive because she knew that I, whatever I'm choosing, I'm not just going it out on a whim, but that I'm actually doing my homework, trying to figure things out. Um, so I was, as I was going through it, even though she's also kind of like, mm, I don't know yet uh, mm -hmm. what all of this means. Uh, I'm going to be here with you. So that helped. Other than that, um, no, my dad was super mad. My mom, which never yells at me. My mom's the most calm person you'll ever meet. But they blasted me for about two hours on the phone uh, when I told them about Catholicism. Yeah, they're like, just stick to Judaism. Um, now they're much more relaxed about it because they realize that, you know, I'm a grown man. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to follow what I'm following. And they also know that uh, whatever I'm doing, I'm not just going out of nowhere, but that I'm actually doing it for a reason. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Was there a pivotal point where you knew you were going to become Catholic or was it just a, a culmination, you know, on the journey? Um, I think when I got to the Eucharist, that was like the first major thing that I saw in the apostolic fathers and the church fathers that kind of shocked me. And I, I just couldn't believe it. And in reality, all of Catholicism, I think a lot of people like 
take time to figure out apologetics for all things, you know, purgatory, uh, the papacy, Marian mm -hmm. doctrine. But it, I think it really comes down to two things, which if these two things are true, Catholicism is the only way. Okay. Number one, number one, if, if Yeshua, Jesus is really present in the Eucharist, if God mm -hmm. is there, <laughs> why are you going anywhere else? But that led me with two other points, right? There's Christian uh, Orthodox Christianity and Catholicism, uh, which were united at some point. So I had to dig into that history and figure out why. But then the same thing that got me out of Judaism, which was the whole authority factor, that's the thing that canceled out even the last two that were standing, Catholicism and Orthodoxy. So uh, Orthodox Christianity had to go because of the question of authority. And what is that question? It is, if Jesus really is the king that the Jewish people had been waiting for, and he really did come to restore the kingdom of Israel, the true kingdom of God, then there's nowhere to go but the Catholic Church because of that authority, which includes the steward, which is the Pope. Uh, it includes the authority of the bishops connected to the Pope. So all of that together, it's just those two arguments. Is the Eucharist really what the Catholic Church says it is? And is the authority that Yeshua, Jesus established really there? Does it exist? And if those are true, then only Catholicism stands. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. You should teach. <laughs> uh, I, I'll get even more nervous, but you know, <laughs> no, God knows it. it. <laughs> it's so amazing. And, and it's, it's interesting. Now, I'll never forget somewhere I saw, you know, because uh, being a uh, cradle Catholic, like I've always just, to me, it's always just been the truth. And so I've always taken that for granted, but hearing about others and their conversion. But to me, it was always like, but, but the Eucharist, like I could never understand how people could, I'm like, that's, that's like, that's everything. What, what are you guys doing? I, I, and um, I never had an eloquent way of saying that because um, I just, I couldn't understand it. And I guess, mm. Um, that was just such a beautiful grace. And um, yeah. if anybody, I think, like Sister said, if anybody starts going through the history and really diving into it, they will always, always convert because, yeah, um, yeah it's just, yeah, there's no yeah, words. There's no, right? Nothing else, nothing else, right? Yeah. And, and that was the beauty. I think uh, that moment happened for me about a year and change ago. I think it was around Halloween time, which is interesting because that was another thing. I'm like, ah, Halloween's pagan. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, there's, okay, what about Christmas? Christmas is also pagan. Let's figure this out. And of course, I didn't know anything. Everything that I thought I knew was so off that I'm like, well, I guess it makes sense, right? Where I was getting all my information about the Catholic Church in the past. It was from anti-Catholic sources. So obviously, right. they're not going to go any other way than whatever supports their claims mm -hmm. but when you look at history as you mentioned that's that's where you end up catholicism right right i'm gonna you have a podcast don't you i i do have a youtube channel it's called okay. the jewish catholic just as the same as my instagram just to kind of encourage others because i think it's so helpful your perspective is just truth and seeking. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's, it's received so well. So it's like, everybody should go, you know, especially for those of those, we have loved ones who are still mm -hmm. kind of struggling, like, what are you talking about? And um, yeah. I think your voice is just, it's so beautiful to, to hear that, you know, all oh. those perspectives. And Morgan, Thank Morgan's you. here. Morgan's going to be received in the church on Saturday as well. Hey. I just saw, I'm like, yeah. I get so excited every time I see yes. <laughs> um, That's such oh. a joy. It mm. is. It's so joyful. So, mm. um, so people are asking, why, why are you in Japan? <laughs> okay. This, <laughs> it was a childhood dream. This is so embarrassing. But when I was no. a little kid, um, I used to ask my mom to give me chopsticks so that I could eat. I used to sleep on the floor because I, I saw images of uh, like samurai and people like that in Japan sleeping on tatami mats, which is mm -hmm. basically the floor, right? Right. So I would sleep on the floor, eat like that. Uh, I would buy soy sauce to put on my mom's rice, which is completely different type of rice than Japanese rice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was just a childhood dream. And then here I am. I ended up meeting my wife here and now we have two children. Oh, beautiful. That's yeah. so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Is your, you. um, is it, 
did you when did you move there was that recently or? uh i moved here at around 2017 yeah so it's okay. about a half a decade almost geez louise oh, time flies wow. wow do you come back <laughs> to the states or do you guys stay primarily uh, I mean, we, we went a couple of times to visit. The first time was so that my parents could meet her. Um, the second time was so we can take my parents to vacation. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. You know, everything happened and travel was restricted. And we, I don't know, we thought about it. <laughs> but we don't know what's going to happen because every time we try to go, it's like something is stopping me. So sometimes yeah. I'm wondering, God, do you want me here? Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. So I just keep moving and then let God open or close doors where he needs to. Okay, and our last question, because this is, I was talking to Chantel, she's in my grocery she loves Japan. And um, mm. she, what, what is the Catholic community like in Japan? Because I thought they were mm. primarily in Japan, Buddhist and, clear, oh gosh, what's the other? Shinto. Shinto, okay. And so yes. I'm curious, like, what is, what is um, the faith there like? Uh, well, my experience, of course, is, is quite limited, being that I, I'm just That's starting true. to know about the community, right? So from, from what I know, um, there is a very, very small community. As you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, and I caught, as you were talking about the time in Nagasaki and all of that, um, it used to be quite Catholic down in that area. Of course, after the war, things kind of died down. Um, and Japan has always been really anti-religion. Like they, real, they are Shinto and Buddhist in terms of culture. They don't even believe any other stuff, even though they go to the temple for the New Year's, even though you'll see them go to the shrines and do like their little prayers. They don't really believe unless they can see, touch, smell, anything that they can in, you know, interact with, with their senses. Um, as for the actual Catholic community, from the ones that I've experienced, uh, it, it's really mixed, which is kind of beautiful. A um, mm -hmm. couple of the parishes that I've been to are people that are coming in from the Philippines, um, oh. from uh, other Southeast Asian areas, and Chinese and Korean and Japanese. So it, it's been pretty cool to see that combination of different people. Um, right now, I attend a congregation here in Tokyo, a, a church that is uh, it's very beautiful. The people there seem to be quite devoted because they're there every single time that I've been, not mm -hmm. just uh, like for the holidays and stuff like that. Like they're there all the time. Um, there is only one person that speaks English. He's Japanese and he's kind of been like the one that's been helping me go to the through the catechism kiss and processes and like all of that baptismal so oh wow yeah well oh, funny story just real quick uh, so that that church that i'm telling you is all japanese right this even the, the mass itself then i wanted to get baptized and all of that and the gentleman that i was working with to do all of this he's like oh we found a priest that speaks english but they only did it because he doesn't look Japanese. He looks foreign. It turns out he's Romanian. That doesn't speak any English. He was just Romanian. I'm like, this isn't going to help me. This is the same thing as Japanese, if not worse. Uh, but, you know, through the mercy of God, everything has worked out and almost there. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. The hurdles. Yeah. Like, I didn't even think of that. Of course. Yeah. Of course. I mean, yeah, of course <laughs> it would be in Japanese. Yeah. I mean, do, do you, you I, I assume you speak Japanese, right? I, I do, but when it comes to religious language, it's yes. kind of difficult for me because a lot of people don't even know. Like if I ask my wife, what, how do you say baptism in Japanese? She wouldn't even know. Oh, And she's wow. a Japanese native. Hmm. My goodness, you yeah. are brave. <laughs> you are so, we are going to be that. praying for you. That is so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank oh, wow. You. Wow. Have you been to Akita? I have not. That's a uh, little ways away, but I I really plan to go. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Will your wife be there with you on Saturday? We're trying to make this happen. The issue is that um, I have to cycle to the church thirty minutes. Yes. So it's gonna be kind of hard to take because we have only one bicycle that can hold the two children. Oh, 
Okay. Um, and then she needs one too. So it's, it would be kind of hard. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Hurdles again. I, I, I know, but I just, your, your zeal is, is so infectious. So don't, don't mm -hmm. stop. Just, yes. <laughs> we'll be praying for you. We're just so thankful. And Amen. oh, Daniel, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. And thank you for inviting me to do this. It's been a real pleasure and an honor. And uh, I pray that everyone who joined us would be blessed as well. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed Holy Tuesday. Well, if it's Tuesday there. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, you... Tuesday night. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. All Thank right. You so much. <laughs> Thank Excellent. you. Thank you, guys. Bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.